Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? So today we have an unboxing, an unboxing of this here Hammer Multifunctional Wireless Speaker. So this is a Bluetooth speaker, and that's how it looks. That's the box there. Hammer. First time I hear of Hammer, but yeah, it is. So on the box say it has, it says it has a Bluetooth version 5.0. It's IPX6 rated. Uh, it's got TWS speaker, so I'm guessing that you can connect it to another speaker and play in stereo. It can take in a micro a, a micro SD, and it's got a line input that is probably via the is it 4.5 millimeter jack? Yeah, we've got some Chinese in there, and then we've got some words. Let me see if there's anything meaningful there. Not really, it's about the place, back here, uh, okay, it's got a built-in 1,200 milliamps battery, providing more than 8 hours of battery life. It's got a built-in microphone, which supports hand, uh, what's this, hands-free calling, and what else is relevant here, I did mention the 5.0 version of bluetooth it's certified ip6 ipx6 water resistant level and yeah that seems like that's what it's got over here there's some other info but it is covered here by the sticker it says their charging time is about two to three hours the battery life is about eight hours at 50 percent volume uh, the battery, like I said, it's 1,200 milliamps at 3.7 volts. And yeah, so let's open it up, guys, and let us see what this thing has to give. Okay, packaging. Seems like the packaging got broken, as you can see there. And then inside you get a 3.5 millimeter jack. Did I say 4.5? 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, and we've got a charging cable and it charges with a mini USB. We've got a little booklet in there, obviously with a bunch of words. So that's what we have. Let's put that back in there because we're looking for the speaker. Hopefully the speaker has got some charge on it. So let's look at the design. Well, the speaker is quite light. Um, we've got the product name, just working current is one amp. So we've got a pretty light speaker. Looks good. Uh, there's a sub hoover there. So looks good. Nice shiny hammer speaker over there. And it's got rubbers underneath so that it can help to hold in there. So that is cool. So let's switch it on and let's see. Hopefully, we've got charge. It went on. There we go. Where is my phone? Let me get my phone. And I will try look for the speaker. I am not sure what the speaker will be called yet. Okay, I see there there is a SP-HM-BT162. I would assume that is the speaker. Let's connect to it. Yes, pay. Okay, there we go. Active 40% battery, but we are connected. And yeah, well, I guess what we can... The only thing we left to do now is to test and... See how it plays, you know? And I have here my Sony Bluetooth speaker. And we will just put it against this little speaker just to see how this two plays. Like, yeah, versus each other. Which one sounds a bit better? So let's see. So let me look for a song which will not get us into too much trouble over here. Okay, so we've got something there.
uh, volume is about half on my phone you can probably call, uh, increase volume via here it will increase it on your phone as well so sounds like there is a speaker in front here and then obviously there's the subwoofer but there's nothing on the sides here it's just a design so it doesn't necessarily give 360 degree sound but let's push it a bit There's a hoop moving there. guys so you've heard it so i would say for the for the price really it sounds uh, i would say roughly um, i don't know man because this speaker was like about 400 rands um 400 rands i think if i'm not mistaken if not it was like three to four hundred rand somewhere there um and i don't know if i want to say there might be speakers that sound a little bit better than this for that price range but again i don't want to say that it's too bad for that price range i feel like it could be fair but there might be other speakers that are better than this for the price range it gets a little bit of distortion as soon as you go loud music on the speaker so you have to control your your volume quite nicely in order for you not to get the speaker to distort too much so but yeah that's how it is let's see how it compares to the sony So I don't know if you can hear it guys on the camera, but this definitely sounds better than this speaker. From get go, I can hear this sounds better than that. The bass coming from here, way better than that. You know, this got a little bit of banging bass. It tries on the banging bass, but that's really, I feel like that's all it has. But again, that banging bass is not like it's good quality. But on here guys, 
come on man so this is about 900 rands this is about 400 rands so there is a little bit of a price gap between the two which understandably so based on what i can hear based on my ear this is definitely a better speaker but let's look for another song that we played so that we can play all the songs let's see you can just hear it sounds so good listen to the bass it's on point it's controlled listen to the treble you can get all the sounds from the speaker Okay, guys, yo, huge difference, huge difference between the Sony over here and this hammer bluetooth speaker two totally different sounds this you can feel man good quality not being biased i love sony but not being biased but purely on the sound quality of these two speakers this speaker has will take will take my money at any time you know this is yeah entry level stuff but like i said you might even get better sounding speakers for the price range of this one but for the price range, I cannot say it is really too bad. It does look good and there is sound coming from it. Whether that is top quality sound, that is questionable, but there is sound I can listen to the speaker if I have to. There are some speakers that I do not like to listen to and I will not listen to unless if, yeah, I need, I want a little speaker and I don't have anything else but that. Other than that, I would use this speaker. It's decent. It's really, it's really entry level. It's fair fairish for the price range but yeah that's my take on that speaker this one i did do an unboxing of this speaker you can look for it i just forgot what's the name of my my bluetooth speaker let me just see if it's written here okay it's a sony srs-xb12 that's the speaker name and i love this speaker i take it everywhere where i go it with it it's portable this is also portable as you can see you can take it with you anywhere but this is more portable it's smaller it came with a it came with a clip i get some good battery life from this speaker so i i love this speaker i love the speaker so on the speaker at the back you can pull the little cover off here it's a thick cover as you can see there and at the back there you can see you can you will find a three millimeter jack you will also test that for sound and we also have a sd card and we have a charging port over there yeah so at the back there those doesn't look like that much good quality plastics in there and the way it looks it just doesn't look like good quality i must say but that's where you would do all of that the charging and everything your volume up volume down and then this is where you turn on the speaker over there the speaker so but yeah that was a review guys or the unboxing and a little bit of review of this hammer bluetooth speaker i hope this helps if it does help but hope you're doing good hope you're going for those goals and taking care of yourself for me until the next one guys thank you for watching